Hey, it's Ava from Epaulette. It is the middle of May 2022 and I'm back with another unboxing video of some absolutely stunning custom garments made by our partners at Rochester Tailored Clothing at the historic Hickey Freeman factory of Rochester, New York. Um, I have a few beautiful jackets to show. I have some great trousers. There's some interesting fabrics and some very cool details. And as always, if you see anything on this video that you like or you have any questions, um, feel free to drop us a line here on social media or email over to custom at epauletbrand.com. Some of these fabrics are one-offs and no longer available. Um, a lot of them do have additional stock and we can make more, but either way, um, we can advise you and guide you into the perfect custom garment for you. So let's start with this item here. This is called the Field Jacket. Um, got three of them in this delivery. This is really ascended to be one of the most popular shapes uh, in our entire lineup. It's based upon the Doyle, which is our in-house chore jacket and the best-selling item that we do. Um, it has the same chest, the same shoulder, same kind of overall fit and proportion, so you can confidently order your size. But um, instead of the Doyle's pockets, it has four um, button-down flap patch pockets to give it more of an outerwear vibe. These patch pockets have a lot of space. These buttons are really easy to use, um, so it's a, just an effortless piece to throw on and either wear as an actual outerwear piece or a layering piece under a thicker parka. Um, got a couple cool fabrics. Uh, this guy here is called the, uh, the Tuscan Sunset Flannel, came from Laura Piana, and it's a really gorgeous um, high thread count wool flannel from Italy, um, made by one of the best mills on earth, and a very handsome mixture of kind of like a coffee brown with a, uh, with a grayish blue overcheck. Um, this is finished with light horn buttons, and um, this has a really cool interior taping detail, which is kind of a silvery gray. Um, for all of these jackets, these are made entirely bespoke. So you choose your chest size, you can choose body and sleeve length and modify those. You choose the buttons. You do get to choose the interior taping, which is a fun detail. You do something tonal or do something more contrasty, and each one will also include your name on the inside. Um, this was a one-off fabric that we did as a promotion, so I don't have any more of this available. But if you dig this, we do have things like it, so you can always reach out and we'll send you a couple different alternatives. Next up in field jackets, this is really cool. This, uh, this is called the Navy Gonzo Tweed, and you'll see why. So on the surface, um, basic Navy Tweed, 100% um, wool, comes from Scotland. Uh, it's a little bit on the heavier side, not quite as thick as Harris Tweed, um, but thicker than kind of the normal wool tweed. Um, this would be a really warm piece um, and especially practical to wear outside on a colder day. But the gonzo part comes when you get really close to it. And usually, usually tweeds will have kind of like predictable weave patterns, um, herringbones, stuff like that. But this actually has this very cool diamond pattern, which I've never seen anything quite like it. Um, it's a really nice uh, twist on just a traditional menswear staple. Very cool piece. Um, this is finished off with the smoke mother of pearl buttons, which have great iridescent and are a natural material. It's actually our best-selling button on all of our custom garments. Smoke mother of pearl <laughs> kind of always delivers. And this is done with the tonal inside taping. Next up, um, a little similar to the Navy Gonzo Tweed. Um, this is a thing called Indigo Violet Tweed. This we actually do have more available. So if you dig this, drop us a line. Um, similar overall dark navy tone, but this is finished off with um, purple and you can kind of see it has a, a light blue window pane accent. Um, so really nice, you know, it's technically a pattern, but these window pane lines are so minimal and blend so well that you could still definitely wear a pattern shirt or a striped shirt underneath this without at all fighting too much. This is done with dark horn buttons, which are a great accent, and purple taping on the inside, which sets off nicely against the uh, purple window pane accent in the actual cloth. Okay, I've got one suit to show, and this one is really exciting. So, Sashiko suits have really become our signature. Um, if you don't know this fabric, this is a Japanese cloth. It's used for kendo martial arts. We import it here as a white undyed fabric. We dye it in South Central Los Angeles, and then we make it up into garments. When we make clothes here in LA, we you know kind of sew all the clothes out in white and then dye all the clothes, um, which is called garment dyeing. But when we do it at Hickey Freeman, we do it in what's called piece dyeing. Um, so we're actually cutting bits of the fabric, dyeing the cloth itself, and then sending the cloth off to Hickey Freeman where they press it, make it perfect, um, iron it all out, then they make it up into a custom garment. 
Um, the cool thing about this is that usually when you do garment dyeing, kind of our traditional Los Angeles way, um, the fabric always shrinks, the garment always shrinks. You know, we in general know what the measurements are gonna be, but it will vary a little bit from batch to batch. When you do this piece dyeing and we send them the finished fabric, the fabric is already dyed and shrunk and treated. So when they iron it out um, and they sew it up into a garment, there is no shrinkage. Um, everything here is perfect and precise. So if you've got specifications like, you know, quarter of an inch difference on cuffs and things like this, um, that will all be reflected in this fabric. The, uh, the overall vibe is like a heavyweight, comfortable cotton. Think something like a really thick uh, corduroy or moleskin, um, but with this cool sashiko texture. And uh, I am fond of saying, um, very few places make sashiko suiting, and I don't think that anyone else does custom dyed sashiko suiting. So this is pretty special um, and something that we offer in rounds a couple times a year. Um, this particular one is done in mink brown, which is this dark brown color that we've done in a bunch of different garments. This is officially the very first mink custom garment that we've done. Um, it's made for a really nice client that we met at one of our trunk shows in New York City, um, and it has one more cool detail. Uh, every suit jacket always has this little eyelet on the side, and this customer requested a button on the other side so that this eyelet actually becomes functional, and if he flips up the collar, you can actually button it closed. Um, it's a cool detail. Um, I don't have an official name for this, um, but if you do want it on any of your sport coats or suits, you can always request that, um, either in special notes in the item or just send us an email. $25 upcharge, but this can be done on anything. So really handsome jacket. This is our Nuovo sport coat with soft shoulders and four inch lapels. And he picked a really cool liner on the inside. Um, the Nuovo is typically finished with a butterfly liner. So it's really comfortable and breathable all on the interior. <clears throat> this jacket does have a matching trouser. This is the um, this is the Walt trouser, which is our most popular. Um, it's a plain front, plain front kind of athletic slim fit. It's not a skinny fit pant. This is kind of like our standard fit, which we've sold a ton of. If you wear something like the river chinos, or you're wearing, you know, most jeans, most off the rack pants, then the Walt is going to work as a great shape for you. Um, I should say, so this is matched up to the jacket. Um, the jackets are dry clean only because they're canvas on the inside. Um, the pants, if you happen to order a pant by itself, you can actually machine wash the Sashiko pants. Um, you'll want to keep them with dark colors, but you don't have to worry about any kind of shrinkage, and there's really no special care. Um, the fabric has already been radically shrunk in the dye process. So um, trousers by itself you can wash, jackets you have to dry clean, um, and I'd say if you have a suit, you'll also want to dry clean these pants, just so that you don't have the scenario where your pants fade more from washing than the jacket, and then, you know, a year or so in <laughs> with a lot of wear, uh, they look, you know, a lighter tone and don't quite precisely match the jacket. Anytime you have a coat and a, and a pant, you wanna always clean them at the same time. Okay, I got a few more pants. So some really exciting ones. Uh, last year we introduced a full collection of frescoes from Hardy Minnis. So Fresco is also known as Hopsack, but Fresco is um, a trademark brand name. Think uh, like, you know, kind of like champagne and sparkling wine. Um, so Fresco is, the name Fresco, is owned by the Hardy Minnis Mill of England. Um, it is their intellectual property, and a lot of people consider it to be the absolute best Hopsack on earth. And when I say Hopsack, this is a plain weave fabric. You can kind of see it up close. It looks a lot like a canvas. So instead of a twill, which is working in diagonal directions, um, the canvas or plain weaves are kind of like a small series of dots, a lot like an Oxford shirt. Um, but Hardy Minnis Fresco is really special. Um, it's a very comfortable cloth that admits a lot of airflow because it has a open weave, but um, it actually has a relatively heavy weight to the yarn. So a good parallel, which I always tell people, is a jean. You know, it's weird, like, jeans are pretty thick fabric. Your average jean is gonna be 12 or 14 ounces, but a lot of people can and do wear jeans in the summertime because denim breathes. Um, if you tried to wear a 14 ounce, like, khaki pant in the summertime, it would be horrible. Um, fresco is a lot like that. So you have this nice balance of, uh, of an open weave, which breathes well and is comfortable, but a heavier weight yarn, which means that it drapes nicely, it resists wrinkling, and it's a really durable cloth. Um, that's the big, <laughs> that's the big story about this fabric. This is an amazing color called Sapphire, which is a really rich blue. And our Hardy Minutes offering is absolutely uh, enormous. On the website, we have a ton of colors and all these interesting fresco tones that 
no one else offers. So great opportunity. Uh, this is the Wilhelm pant, which is like the Walt, but it offers more room in the thigh and the seat if you've got bigger legs and you find the usual kind of like slim athletic fit pant to be too constrictive in the top block. Okay, so <laughs> that's the Sapphire Fresco. We also do have a pant here in Navy Fresco. Um, this has been our best-selling Fresco color. You know, think the, like the typical Brooks Brothers Navy Blazer. That's kind of this, you know, like old school dark navy blue color. Um, easy, goes with everything. This is an awesome pant. And since I've got it here, there's the navy versus the sapphire. One more pant to, oh, two more pants to show. Okay, these are both two kind of special ones. So this is, this is a fabric which we definitely no longer have. Um, we made a bunch of doyles out of it last year. But this is a super thick, we call this iron forest tweed. This is 18 ounces. It's not a Harris tweed, but it's about the same weight as a Harris tweed. Um, the main reason why I want to show this to you, well, I think it's, it's a beautiful cloth up front. It's a really cool mixture of dark olive and steel gray tones. Um, but the really like important thing is that we made a ton of pants like this. If you live somewhere cold, um, you know, you live in Canada, um, you live in upstate New York, um, a place with a really brutal weather, uh, in the winter time, then these like heavyweight tweed pants are really, really valuable. I think they're almost impossible to find off the rack. Um, they can sometimes be prohibitively expensive um, to order as a custom piece, but every fall we do kind of endeavor to not only offer a bunch of tweeds through the website, but also stuff that I can source locally where we can, you know, give you a bit of a price break on a really high quality, thick and extremely warm pant. So this is cool. I don't have anything, any more of this exact cloth, but we're certainly gonna have heavyweight tweeds like this when it starts to get to be the time for them. One more pant, which I just think is really cool. This was a, this is a promo fabric. Um, we also made a red pant in na navy velvet. Um, technically a promotional fabric. I'd be surprised if they don't have more of it. So if you'd like a navy velvet pant um, or a navy velvet sport coat, again, drop us a line. We, um, we either have this fabric on hand or we can certainly source it, but it's beautiful. Gorgeous cotton velvet, wonderful finish, and a really, really comfortable cloth. Okay, and I've just got a couple Doyles to show. So this one is amazing. So Doyle, um, like the field jacket, this is our in-house design. Doyle is the best-selling thing that we've ever made and probably what we're known for more than anything. It is a slim fit chore coat, a kind of take on the original French work jacket. Um, it has two patch pockets here and one patch pocket up here. And if you notice me hunting around and trying to find them, uh, it's because Rochester Tailored Clothing has the greatest pattern matching that I have ever seen. I'm fond of telling the story, but when we got our first Doyle, I freaked out and thought that they messed it up and they sent us a garment with no pockets. But in reality, the pocket is there. It is just flawlessly matched. I've never seen this as nicely executed by anyone and we've worked with a ton of different custom clothing companies. So the fact that you can get this really rad and versatile chore coat that you can completely customize it, your choice of chest length, body um, sleeve length, body length, chest size, um, buttons, pockets, uh, your taping on the inside, um, and also get it done to this ridiculous level of craftsmanship is, uh, is something very special and something that really just we offer. Fabric here is a, um, this is a fairly lightweight tropical wool, comes from Depry in Italy, and it is a beautiful large scale Prince of Wales check. This customer chose, again, the, um, the Smoke Mother Pro Buttons, our best seller, and um, a very cool hot pink, hot pink taping. And you can see that like when you actually have this jacket on, this taping is not visible at all. So. You know, the taping can be a really nice opportunity to get very playful and add something contrasty. It's really just for you on the inside. Uh, this is Doyle done in another Laura Piana fabric. This was called Toasted Chestnut Check. Um, this is actually the same quality of um, wool flannel from the very first jacket in this video, also done by Laura Piana. Um, so here you can kind of see like the idea of this Lux final done in a chore coat shape versus the, um, the field jacket shape. This is done with dark horn buttons and uh, looks like this is a uh, kind of a light, light sandy tan taping on the inside. And for the last piece that we have, um, this is very cool. So this is our space dye wool blend. 
Um, and this has a whole story. So this is a fabric that we sourced here in Los Angeles. We did an entire pre-order for it. We made it into Rivachinos and we made it into Kamigatas, which is our kind of like kimono Japanese work jacket. And as much as possible, when we do fabric projects here in cloth that I can easily buy in Los Angeles, I'll also try to offer it as custom garments um, through RTC because any fabric that I buy here to give to our sewers in LA, I can also put into a box, send off to Rochester, and have made into custom garments. Um, for this particular customer, we were not offering doyles, we were offering kimono jackets and rivachinos. He really wanted a doyle, it's his favorite shape, so we were able to take three yards of this cloth and make him a total one-off. And this is officially the only doyle on planet Earth that does exist and will ever exist in this fabric. So. Very cool, um, really amazing. This is done with the, um, the Snail Mother of Pearl button, which is kind of like an off-white, off-white Mother of Pearl, and I love it. Um, I will say, not to bias anyone out there, but Snail Mother of Pearl is my favorite color. Um, we do a lot with smoke. We would always, kind of at, at other vendors that we work with, you would either choosing gray Mother of Pearl or like a bright white Mother of Pearl, which was very contrasty and cool, but loud. Um, and Snail kind of delivers a little bit of that, but it's quieter and um, it goes great with every fabric that I've ever seen it against. Um, again, beautiful, beautiful pattern matching on this and this customer opted for a purple taping on the inside, which is a great, great match to the overall purpleness of the garment. Um, and that's about it for this unboxing. Um, you know, we try to do these videos uh, whenever we get really large deliveries. Um, and yeah, if you guys ever have any questions or you're interested in commissioning one of your own garments, um, feel free to drop us a line here on social media. Um, you can reach out Facebook, Instagram, um, or email to custom at epilepbrand.com. We do have all this stuff listed on our website, but you know, we specialize in really assisting customers from the very first point. So you can also just drop us an email and tell us in general what you're interested in. We can also send you options and kind of uh, take you through the entire process. Um, and in terms of fitting, um, I will say that even though we do offer fitting um, at our studio in Redondo Beach, California, which is only 15 minutes from LAX, um, you know, almost all of our sales are done remotely. So we're really experienced in fitting remotely, just working with measurements, working with garments that you already own. We can also do a video chat, um, but usually it's just, you know, if you're interested in a sport coat, as long as you have a sport coat which more or less fits you, um, we just take measurements of that garment and then pictures of you wearing that garment and we can really calculate your sizing to a very accurate degree just working with that. Easy, fast process and four to six weeks later you've got a gorgeous new garment right in your hands. All right, thank you so much for watching um, and have a great day.